it's actually a buddy of mine uh, got me started. Uh, we were out swimming in the country at a, at a lake, and he said, uh, we're going to go walk around, see if we can find beer cans. I said, beer cans? Yeah, he says, like, you know, started collecting them. Oh, hey, that sounds pretty cool. The humble beer can will celebrate its 75th birthday in January. It should be cause for celebration, but beer can collectors are worried. The problem is, they're getting up there in age, too. The first beer can went on sale in 1935 in Richmond, Virginia, and people have been saving them ever since. The hobby really took off in the 1970s when kids traded beer cans like baseball cards. Well, my grandfather actually uh, was the first collector in our family, and uh, my younger brother picked up on it back in the 70s. I've been uh, collecting beer cans for about 30 years. This particular can is uh, in the $500 uh, plus dollar range. But these days, the hobby seems to be losing its fizz. Membership in the Brewery Collectibles Club of America, the largest society of can collectors, has dropped to about 3,600 from 12,000 in 1978. The young guys now, I mean, it's more, you know, they're into different things. You know, it's a lot. Of, we didn't have internet back then. You know, we didn't have iPods and text messaging. And it was more of a laid back atmosphere. I mean, our fun was getting out of school and jumping on our bikes and riding to our, our friend's house and trading beer cans. Younger collectors were few and far between at this recent show in Belleville, Illinois. One of the things that I think has hurt the younger crowd is the fact that alcohol is not as acceptable. And I, I have no problems with that because I certainly, any kids you can keep away from alcohol is a good thing, but uh, the hobby itself, you don't have to be a drinker to be in the hobby. No one here thinks that the can is an endangered species, but the collectors, maybe. The can that I'm holding in my hand is called Budweiser, but it's actually from Czechoslovakia. Uh, this is an Iron City uh, commemorative can to the Pittsburgh Steelers winning the Super Bowl in 75. This is a 1955 Rainier. This is a 1948 Falstaff. Here's a rice can from the uh, Springfield, Illinois. This is a can made by the Tivoling Brewing Company out of Denver, Colorado. This is a Pabst Old Tanker Dale, approximately 1938, brewed in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. For the Wall Street Journal, this is David Kesmodel in Belleville, Illinois.